Okay, this tutorial is about drawing in Illustrator. So let's open up Illustrator. And we'll want a new document. That's fine. And this we'll want to place. We want to place a picture of an animal and you can find this in your stock photos like under animals find one that sort of lends itself to being drawn and I chose a lion so I'm going to place it do not put open you want place place is a little different because with place you get an option of using it as a template. You can resize it, make sure that you constrain the proportions by holding down shift until you get a big enough area to do what you need to do. And that's probably big enough. Okay. So what we do, we go here to the layer palette and we make it into a template. What that does, it makes it so you can trace over it. You can still see the image, but it makes it easy to trace. You cannot, as you see, write on it. So what you need to do is to make a new layer. And that way you won't be drawing on the layer that you're actually going to be tracing which could confuse you so you can always have it there I prefer to do a line drawing first so we'll take the line we'll go to stroke make sure we have a strong small enough stroke to not interfere with what we're doing and boom you start with the outline of the biggest things. You just draw it. Oops. And here we have our complete outline of the lion. So we want to deselect that so that we can keep drawing. And now let's take the mane and draw that. Start once again the larger sections and make sure that those are appropriate colors. Try to stay as close as you can to original. You can always change it later on. Now this is what I was saying. Um, Go here to your layers, and we can take our layer paths and either make them transparent or get rid of them all together. It 
select them one by one. Rather tedious process. When you're done, save it. Let's, um, I think we're missing something here. We need to do a little bit of uh, typing. So let's take and make a path. How you can make a path is, is fun. What you can do is just draw a path. Make sure that you don't have any stroke, no fill, and trace an area. You can loosely trace as much as you want. You can put it where you want. Remember the template is not going to show up at all. So now we have what we want, our paths. Take your writing tool and as it gets closer you'll notice here's a little to let you know that you're on the path. And let's see what it looks like now. We'll save as. And we want to open it up again in Photoshop, and there we can tweak it a little bit. And that way we can make it the right size and get it ready for the internet and any other little problems that we see. We'll see it without the template so we can see what it actually looks like. it up. And this is going to also ask us how big we want it. Make sure when you when you say how big you want it, 
that you have a good size for uh, the web, but you also have it big enough that you can crop it because you're going to probably need to crop it. And we're making rasterizing it, making it into pixels. And that looks about right to me. Uh, if we're going to save it as a GIF, we're going to have transparency as a JPEG. It'll collapse it right away. And so I'm thinking maybe we'll give it a little bit of uh, background color. So we'll take layer two, put that on the bottom. And find some sort of color that we like. And save for web, just like we always do. This one would save better, will compress better as a GIF. If we save it as a JPEG, we'll have more noise. So save it as always. Save it as the Illustrator file. This is the Illustrator 2. And it's a GIF. And you are done.